It is very important that while we are out of the gyms that we do stay fit and healthy, but it is equally important that we stay safe when we do these fitness sessions. So before you start any fitness session, make sure there's nothing in your way, no furniture or anything that you could fall into and hurt yourself. Make sure that you can move freely side to side and make sure that you can spread your arms out without hitting any objects, okay? Then we can have a safe session. So I have done my pulse raiser now, I have done my head to toe stretch and I have done my mid body circuit. I'm now ready to go into my leg session and I'm just topping up my stretches with some quads and hamstring stretches before we start our warm up. You should hold each one of these in and around to 20 to 30 seconds before we get started. Now we're going to go into two minutes of knee high fives. Once your knee high fives are completed, what you need to do now is five times your age in body squats. Now that our warm up is complete, what we can go on to now is exercise number one, and this is side lunges. I get myself into a centered position and I lunge down left to right, trying to go as deep as I can getting my glutes down to the floor, keeping my heel flexed as I lunge down, letting my hamstrings do the majority of the work. Finding my center point after each lunge, and we do this for two minutes. And now we go on to exercise number two, Bulgarian split squat. The Bulgarian split squat is an excellent variation of a single leg squat, which puts extra focus on the quadriceps. I place my back leg up onto a sofa and I squat down with my active leg. A great idea to add resistance is to get a backpack and a watermelon. An average watermelon can fetch between seven to 10 kilograms and is an easy extra way to add resistance. Plus, when you're finished, you can eat it. Our third exercise of the day is going to be pistol squats. Now this again is a single leg squat and it is quite an advanced movement. It is quite difficult. Not only does it hit your leg muscles as it should, it also starts activating your stabilizing muscles and your core. Try hard to keep your passive leg horizontal and engaged as you go up and down. You can add resistance for this exercise with the backpack, but as you are about to see, I would perhaps put the bag on the front of your body because the center of mass is off put and it will drag you backwards. Moving in to number four, we have single leg hip thrusts. I rest my back on an elevated surface such as a sofa. I get my legs at around 90 degrees. I straighten my passive leg and I lower and I raise. I sneak in a heel raise at the top of the thrust just to add in a bit of calf. Moving in now to our final exercise, and that is single leg calf raises. I find a position that suits me up through the ball of my foot, 
and that's where the energy should flow up through because that is a great way to isolate the calf muscle. I go at a slow tempo because we're relying on the time and not the reps and I try and get my mind to muscle to make this exercise as efficient as possible.